So I've just come from a CV and covering letter session. And what you will often see in CVs, at least one of the fairly standard layout is you will have your employer on the left, job title in the middle, and then the date or something on the right. And then you get onto your bullet points of what the job was underneath it. And I think most people, when they first do this, will think, oh, we have to put in some tabs or even some spaces to align things. And you can see that looks a little bit messy here. And what if the job title was longer? Well, we'd need to then start moving the tabs or the spaces again to realign this. So there must be an easier way of doing it. And what it is, is we're gonna get rid of that and we are going to use tab stop. Now tab stops will appear along the ruler here. So if you haven't seen it, you will need to click on ruler. Just take it off, put it back on again. You can see it here. And what we have is this L shape here in the top left, and that is a left aligned tab. So with that selected, well, you don't even need to select it as long as that appears there. If I click into the ruler, we have a left aligned tab. And I'm gonna press the tab key. And what you can see is I've jumped to that exact spot. So I'm gonna put the word employer there. Now I'm gonna click on that L shape one more time, and I get what is known as a center tab. So if I click around, well, it's the document's about 16 centimeters across, so if I click on the eight, now if I press the tab key, I've jumped to the middle of the page. I've jumped to the cursor is now aligned with that tab stop. But here's the thing, because it's that T shape or the upside down T shape, uh, it is now centered. And so if the job title was longer, it would still remain centered. Now if I click this again, I would get a right tab stop. So I'm gonna click it over here, drag it a bit to the edge. Uh, now if I press tab, I will jump to that point all right aligned and what you can see is as we start moving these tab stops around the text that's aligned with them will move as well so we'll keep it as that if you want to remove one you click it and just drag it off so that's pretty good I'm going to bold that and what I'm also going to do is then right click one of my headings and update heading 2 to match the selection that will then save the tab stops as well so if I do employer job title and date, what I can do is press heading two and it will automatically align them. And I don't need to change anything at all. It will always keep everything aligned properly.